Welcome to Virtually Camden! Today, on this adventure, we'll be visiting Petty's Island! If you take a walk around Petty's Island, it is pretty hard to miss the impoundments located throughout the area. These impoundments once held oil storage tanks for Sitco and were placed specifically in the event of an accidental oil spill. Though contained within an impoundment, any oil that did find its way out still managed to contaminate the area. As part of the deconstruction on Petty's Island, these tanks were eventually taken down. Presently, there is water within the impoundments. These natural ponds are now home to countless of species. They offer shelter and water to the nature present throughout Petty's, and it is a wonderful example of just how nature can take back what was rightfully hers. Cisco is a petroleum corporation that used the island for fuel and oil storage. In 2009, they had decided to donate a conservation easement to New Jersey's Natural Lands Trust. And so with that, New Jersey Natural Lands Trust wanted to use this island for environmental education purposes for the public. But there was a uh, Pensacon Township. They wanted to use the island uh, for hotels and a golf course. And so once that happened, many uh, environmental activists like got word of that and they was like, you is not going to take this island and use it for hotels and golf courses. Like that's ridiculous. There's beautiful nature here that needs to thrive and to be supported, you know? Um, <laughs> and so that idea was completely like blown out the window. Uh, during this time period, they already have removed a lot of the industrial buildings and industrial equipment that was already embedded into this uh, island. And so from that point on, <laughs> uh, they wanted to do a natural preserve here for the public as well. It's currently not open, but in future tense it will be. And hopefully with the promise of education, um, environmental education programs that they wanted to do. So now what's left over is beautiful land, uh, grasslands and uh, wetlands for all the animals here to thrive. And so I'm really glad that the environmental activists and everyone who stood stand to make this island the way that it is today like i'm so like thank you for doing that <laughs> It's crazy what you will find in Petty's Island. Yeah, honestly, this is amazing. Especially that, that's crazy. Yeah. I just want to keep touching it. Yeah, same. <laughs> I want to keep looking at it. <laughs> right now, on Petty's Island, we are in this location. Uh, this is actually, it used to be an oil storage tank and they got rid of them, obviously. Uh, so now if we pan out, you see that because it was an impoundment, it holds this water and it becomes like a pond. There are like turtles and egrets and things like that. And you can see that that platform in the middle is where like the tank would have been. This is another impoundment. It's really big. It's the one that's right next to the one that we first mentioned. Here's the backside of the other impoundment. It looks really gorgeous. On Petty's Island stands a three-story marine terminal. This terminal was used to load 18-wheelers onto huge ships in the Delaware River back channel. 
The trucks would use ramps to drive up and then onto the ships, depending on which level they were placed. It now stands as a reminder of what Petty Island was and what it will be in the future. There is talk of turning the structure into an environmental center of sorts, and the turnaround from being a facility for Sitco to a New Jersey State Preserve is absolutely amazing. You know, so we just drove from here mm -hmm. down here. Mm -hmm. So all the ponds you were seeing, you know, had tanks in them. And then we drove here, we made that hard right, and then we came in through here. Mm -hmm. Down here. Wow. If you look at an aerial view of Petty's, you will notice a ginormous empty grass plot. Unbelievably, this area was once paved and used as a parking lot slash storage area for containers and trucks when Sitco utilized the island. It now stands as a beautiful open grass field that serves as a wonderful sight to see on Petties. Hey. <laughs> what are you seeing over there? There's like a nest right here. Um, she's grabbing cicada. There's a cicada shell. It looks like um, that looks like a, like oh, a like cocoon. Oh, like, like a cocoon. Like a cocoon, yeah. You mm -hmm. can see a moth right here. If you like zoom in a little. Having this island as a nature preserve is an amazing touch to its natural feel. Um, right here, I am standing right next to an old sign, which was man-made. And here is an example of nature taking back what's hers. There's a burst net between the two uh, sign frames. And along the structure, you'll see things like the webs of like uh, moths, um, spider webs as well, um, cicadas even, and even bird poop. Every day that you set foot on this island, there's always something different. Each and every time when we come, it's always something different. And I think that's what gives this island such a beautiful natural feel to it you know every day is different um there's so many animals running around like there's every time when we come here we're always seeing deer we're always seeing turtles we're always seeing turkeys we're always seeing like like um gray herons like it's just it's really beautiful <laughs> So as you make your way along the trail, you will come across this infographic giving a land acknowledgement to the original people who stayed here on the island before it was ever industrialized. And those people were the Lenny Lenape Native Americans, otherwise known as the original people. They came across this island about 8,000 years ago and were the first to ever inhabit this area. So as natives of this land, their diets consisted of the freshwater mussels along the Delaware River back channel and the turkeys and deer and other live game located on the island. The beginning of the industrialization of Petty's Island began after a young Quaker woman named Elizabeth Kinsley arrived in the area and proposed a deed to the Lenape leaders. In this deed was proposed an exchange of land and goods in and around the island. So for Elizabeth, she would be able to now hunt and utilize the land for her hogs while the Lenape would get things like gunpowder and rum, and from that moment on, everything began to change on the island. Alongside the Lenape Acknowledgements infographic, you will come across this Sitco and Natural Lands Trust in infographic, which goes over the history behind this area now becoming preserved. So, to give you a little backstory, after the World Wars, Petty's Island was no longer being utilized to create ships and parts for ships. It was now only under the name of Sitco Petroleum as a oil refinery. But as we reached the early 2000s, and as the decrease in population of bald eagles was now becoming more and more detrimental, there now became a 
a concern all across the country to preserve their populations. So when a nest was found here on the island, it became more clear to environmentalists in the area that this space was unique and needed to be preserved. The only real issue with conserving this land was that there was already plans to create the island into a luxury housing area. As time went on, it became clear that people didn't need this luxury housing in the area. That in reality, it was more important to everyone to keep this area preserved. New Jersey Natural Lands Trust's future vision for the island is amazing. The island offers school groups the chance to use it as a living laboratory where they can study ecology and water quality issues. Thanks to its location, it provides climate resiliency to Camden and Pensacola from potential flooding, from storms, and sea level rise as it serves as a buffer. And because of its close proximity to the urban centers of Camden and Philadelphia, Petty's Island will offer hundreds of thousands of urban residents four miles of new waterfront access and an urban oasis in which they can enjoy biking, fishing, hiking, kayaking, and experiencing nature. As we made our way through the trail, we went to discover the shoreline. It didn't take long for us to come across mass amounts of litter that washed up onto the shore due to the direction of the tide. There were lots of plastic bottles, house utensils, and fish nets. It was an unfortunate discovery, but it didn't come as much as a surprise as the island is placed near two cities and is downstream of Fundy Moor. The scene had us starting a conversation about setting up a cleanup day with local volunteers. To learn more about how you can help, visit the Virtually Camden website. Girls, these are pieces of church, okay. and I sent these to the State Historic Preservation Office, and they explained to me that these are actually tools of necessity that were used by the Lenape when they were here seasonally on the island. Mm. So you can see here, you know, where you'd put your your hand mm -hmm. and where you could sharpen your shaft mm -hmm. of your, you know, your arrow. Yeah. Again, a little a little hold here for your hand. Wow. So, wow. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so, so you said in the future, like these were going to be in the Petty's Island Visitor Center. The wow. State Historic Yay. Preservation Office thought that they were they're, they're prehistoric tools, essentially. Thank you. Yeah. Can you see like maybe like some markings? Mm -hmm. Like old markings that they would do? 